Hey everyone, so today is a really, really exciting video. I am 38 and a bit weeks pregnant. I should probably explain this behind me as well. This is a birthing pool. So, um, for any of you guys follow me on Instagram or something, you'll see that we are planning for a home birth, um, open to what might happen, but we're really, really hoping for one. And so we've got this birth pool that my friend lent us set up here in our kitchen. I'm here in my birth pool today to talk about my sort of pregnancy survival kit. So just things that have really, really um, helped me during this pregnancy. I'm gonna talk about kind of different categories of stuff. So some beauty things, some food and drink, some arty things, some books and some clothes. So let's get started. I want to talk to you about a couple of products that I didn't necessarily immediately think were pregnancy products, but I've actually really, really needed during this pregnancy. So the first one is this hand cream. So this is by a brand, actually they're all by this brand that I've come across and really love called Organic Surge. It's a small, um, independent, organic range. I think they're based in Scotland. Um, really, really good value stuff as well. Basically, during pregnancy, you're obviously peeing a lot and going to the toilet a lot and washing your hands a lot. So I found I was getting really, really dry skin on my hands. It's just become like a staple. I just have to apply it now all the time, otherwise my hands actually get really rough um, from all the washing, from all the peeing. The other one, <laughs> really glamorous products these are, deodorant. So, when you're carrying extra weight, and especially now it's getting warmer, I basically just have to carry around deodorant with me the whole time, um, especially when I was commuting and on the tube. It got to the end of the day and I basically was just really smelly and had to apply this and this one is super, super lush. It's like, like a lemony smell, it kind of smells like lemon sweets. It's so nice, it kind of smells like lemon sherbet. And then the last one is this eye cream. So. I have noticed that my eyes have become quite puffy during pregnancy and this eye cream which is really really hydrating has just kind of calmed them down and kind of got them back to what they maybe looked like pre-pregnancy. They were just kind of like, I don't know, maybe it's because I wasn't sleeping so well. Um, but I've been applying this a lot and I think it's been really helping. So yeah, just a good eye cream and I love this one. So first of all, I'm going to have to get off for this to probably show you because I'm wearing them because I basically haven't taken them off this pregnancy. These are mother care jeans, maternity mother care jeans, and they're just amazing. I rave about them to everyone. So can you see, the reason I love them is this stretchy band that comes over the bump like that and is completely seamless. So if I wear like a strap top, you can't see anything. There's no like big bulgy belt thing. It's just so nice. They're so comfortable. And for me personally, I just love having the bump kind of tucked in. Other things, so since becoming pregnant, I have kind of developed a bit of an obsession with mum merchandise. So I'm gonna run you through what I've got. Just t-shirts basically that say mum, mother, mama in various different ways. So this one, I'm really out of breath from standing up, mama bird. Um, I'll link to everything I'm talking about below, by the way. Um, I love this t-shirt. It's by a brand called The Bee in the Box, and they have loads of different little words on their stuff. She's got a big Instagram page, so I'll link to that below. Some people might recognize this one. So this is by Selfish Mother, and um, I just love it. This kind of gray sharp charcoal t-shirt that says Mother. I haven't worn it, actually, in pregnancy. I am saving this one for afterwards. I don't know why, I don't want to stretch this one. And then this one is by my friend, Fourth Tri Mag. So, um, it's just really simple and I actually cut it, so I customised it a bit. I took off the sleeves and I made the neck shorter, longer, sorry, and it's long. So actually, you can wear this, and I've been wearing this with leggings. Um, and actually, it's a really great maternity top because it's quite big. There's been lots of space for the bump to grow. Oh, my bum's squeaking against the pool. <laughs> During my pregnancy, I kind of felt quite creative, for want of a better word. Um, and so I've done a couple of little arty projects, I guess, especially now since I've been on maternity leave. So I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite things that I've done there. I did a kind of like non baby shower, baby shower last week. Um, I did a separate blog post on it. I'm gonna link to it below. And 
Um, one of the things we did, because we're trying to hopefully have this hypnobirth, which we've been practicing and it's kind of all about getting yourself into a deep state of relaxation as a sort of form of pain relief, so it's totally natural. And to do that, you kind of need to think mind over body and they're basically really connected and if you can have a strong mind, then that will help your body get through the labor. So what my friends and I did, we just kind of created a couple of signs. So this one says, each breath is slow, long, deep and relaxed. And what I'm gonna do is put them up just around the home, just to kind of keep reminding me and keep triggering these kind of positive thoughts. This one, keep focused. I breathe in relaxation and comfort, peace and trust. I got most of the materials from Tiger, which were really economical. I've listed them all in my blog post, so check them out there if you're interested. The other things that we made were these little baby vests. Really cute, I think. Cuddle me. And this one's kind of like watercolory. This one was the most fun because this is Jack's handprint, so we got him involved too. I picked up these vests, seven little bodysuits from m and and I think they were nine pounds, so which I think is pretty good. So check out m and for the plain bodysuits. And then the other thing I've been getting a bit creative with is this. So I don't know if you guys have heard of Wool and the Gang. Um, they are an awesome knitting and crochet company. And okay, I'm embarrassed to admit that I haven't got very far with it yet. But what I will be doing, hopefully, is doing a bit of crochet and making something cute for the little baby. So this is a pattern for a Buster Bear beanie. See the little hat with ears? And it looks so cute. Really inspired by Will and the Gang and um, need to get crocheting really. So this first one is by this brand called Myrtle and Maud and they kind of do this um, pack I guess for mums and it includes and yeah if you have seen my Instagram thing you'll see I am obsessed with this tea. So okay the bag's really pretty first of all. It contains rose, zesty orange and vibrant peppermint and it's basically amazing um, for settling your tummy in pregnancy but I swear like I'm going to be drinking this for a long time afterwards and when people come over and they ask for herbal tea I'm always like yeah we've got this tea it's pregnancy tea but it's not really pregnancy tea I mean it is but like it's also really delicious it's the nicest pregnancy tea I've tasted by far I think it's the nicest herbal tea I've ever tasted it's just I think it's a combination of the orange with the peppermint I don't know but it's delicious and they actually did this really cute pack for mums. So when I got the tea, I also got these acupressure wristbands, which I wore at the beginning because they're amazing for sickness. I put them away now because I wasn't feeling sick in the later stage of pregnancy. But at the beginning, they're really, really handy. Um, they come in this cute little tin. And then they also have these peppermints, which I don't have any more of because I ate them all. Because I was carrying them around me because they're awesome just to keep on you when you need like a little kind of burst of energy. Um, they're really, really nice, just mints, um, and really good for kind of, yeah, giving you energy, but also, again, for kind of settling any sick feelings that you can get. Popcorn, so I've been addicted to popcorn this pregnancy. This one's the new popcorn flavor, which is sweet coconut and vanilla, and I love it. I've got this bag um, that's actually I've taken from my birthing kind of pack, which I'm gonna crack into when I go into labor. And then the other thing, not nearly as interesting, fruit. I've had an insatiable appetite for fruit this pregnancy. Last time I was more into kind of um, carbs and sweet stuff and cake. Don't get me wrong, I'm really enjoying cake as well, but fruit, like I've just needed to eat fruit the whole time. I already talked about hypnobirthing. Um, this is the book that I've been reading like religiously. We got it when we went on our hypnobirthing course and it's just amazing. It's a really, really lovely, easy read. Loads of tips, loads of exercises, loads of visualizations. It comes with a CD. It's amazing. I'll probably talk more about hypnobirthing after the labor and kind of give my verdict on it and how it went for me, because at the moment it's a bit of an unknown. But if you're thinking about doing it, this book is a must. The other book that I loved is very much focused, I'm so out of breath talking, it's very much focused on natural childbirth, is this one, Ina May. She's an American midwife and she's amazing. A goddess, as some people have called her. Um, and she talks about tips and stuff 
but she also spends a lot of the book talking about just really lovely positive birth experiences which is so nice to read and she talks about like women across the world and there's lots of beautiful imagery yeah i love this book ina may's guide to childbirth and then this one i found this book on the side of the street when i was no i don't even think i was pregnant with jack it was ages ago and you know sometimes people just pile up books outside the house that they don't want any longer i saw this and i was like i want that so i just picked it up thinking i feel like i will like this book in time to come and i have loved it it's massively hippie and i like kind of dipping in and out of it but i love its contents but like even just looking at it now, I'm like, that's so, I need to look at this because it's like a checklist for a home birth. I think if you're quite a creative person or if you're artistic, this book is a must because it's a lot about like, kind of tapping into your inner creativity when you give birth or when you're pregnant, birthing from within, I really recommend it, especially for all the other hippies out there. So, those are my sort of pregnancy essentials, things that, um, yeah, just have really kind of got me through this pregnancy that, I didn't really think about last time because maybe they're not the most kind of obvious choices. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment, uh, subscribe to my channel, all of that malarkey. I'm hoping to do one more video before baby comes so keep an eye out for that but otherwise take care and I'll see you soon. Bye!